Hello my Falco, welcome to my channel. I filmed an intro and outro but the background noise was unbearable so I'm just getting right to it. Today's look will be using two super fun and cute colors, pink and blue, together in a look. It's a bold look but it's also flirty and playful at the same time. I've already prepped my face so next I'm priming my eyelid with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Then using my W7 in the City Nude Palette, I take the shade Troy to set the primer and it's really close to my skin tone. I'm using my matte blush palette for eyeshadow because there's a lot of pinks that I can use. I take the first color which is a light salmon-y color and place it all over my lid. Then for my crease I take the second shade which is a princess pink color and add it over top as my blending color. Keep working into your crease until you're ready to go a little bit darker. And the color I used was the second on the bottom, which is a hot pink shade that I add over the previous color. I take a blending brush to make sure these two colors look like one and buff it out a bit. The brush I'm using is the blending brush from e.l.f. Using the third shade from the bottom, which is the pale red, I pack it onto the outer V of my crease. I try to keep most of that color at the outer end. Then I blend everything together to make it look smoother. Blend, blend, blend. Next, I'm using the MAC Pigment Shimmer Eyeshadow in the shade Star Violet, and I wet my brush with the ELF Setting Spray and pack the color onto my eyelid. Beware of the fallout because the glitter will stick to your skin. I make sure to cover my entire lid carefully and found that using my fingertips really helps the color to stick. I add a little bit of the second crease color on my blending brush and blend over the lid color for smoother lines. But I also make sure the lid color isn't faded. For eyeliner, I'm using the iTeeny Swizzle Stick Eyeliner in the shade Blue Hawaiian. And I'm just going to make a simple winged liner shape. The eyeliner itself isn't made for precision so don't worry if it looks a little sloppy. I use quick motions since it does tend to drag the skin a little bit. Then I work on the wing itself and get it as sharp as it can. I'm also tightlining the bottom of my upper lash line and working the color onto my eyebrows. I don't know, I thought it'd be a little fun. You can use an actual colored mascara if you want. Then I'm lining the lower lash line close to my waterline. I add the second crease shade to the brush before I smoke out the lower lash line. I just wanted to add some eyeshadow to my brows so I used the autumn shade on my W7 palette to fill in the white spaces at the beginning of my brows. Yes, it dropped on my nose, don't worry, I cleaned it up. After that, I set the colors and hairs with the e.l.f. clear brow gel. I'm going back with concealer for all the fallout from my eyes and set it with a powder. All the products I used will be in the info box below so check that out. To add a little more sparkle, I'm using the NYX eye pencil in the shade 938 Aqua Shimmer and adding that to brighten my inner eyelids, working it over my eyeliner.
After that, I curl my eyelashes and add my Maybelline Colossal Volume Mascara. I was going to put on falsies, but I ran out of glue, so do that if you want. Going in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in Park Ave Princess, I added to the inner corners to brighten the look. Then I bronze my face with the NYC Sun & Bronze Hamptons Radiance to bring color back to my face in areas that are usually casted in shadows or normally darker than the regular skin tone. So that means below my cheekbones, under my jawline, by my temples and hairline, and my nose. Using the first shade on the bottom of my blush palette, which is a bright soft pink, I dab it on top of my cheekbones, then blend it in. I pack the color in to make it stand out, then I finish with the Tarte Bronzer as a highlighter. I also use a brush to make sure my finger application was smooth. Finally, I line my lips with the NYC City Proof Twistable Intense Lip Color in the shade 011 Brooklyn Brownstone. Ugh. I do get off camera a little bit, so I'm sorry about that. Next, I use the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade MLS04 Pale Pink, which I do not recommend using alone. I don't know if it's because my lips are super dry here, but it crumbles immediately during application and sinks into my lines. So if you do use this, I would apply a lip balm beforehand and use moisturizer first. Because I forgot to do both of that, I'm going in with the NYC Expert Last Lipstick in the shade 440 Creamy Caramel to make the lips look more hydrated and dull out the pinkish color. And that completes the look. Mahalo Nui Loa as always for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in a later one. Shoots!